Hi everyone, today I just wanted to talk to you about a sheep drawing. In fact, this is a drawing of a sheep and a lamb standing next to each other. And this one I've titled Bar Bar Blah, because it rather looks like the sheep here who uh, appears to be bleating. Certainly its mouth is open and tongue sticking out. It looks like, it almost looks like the sheep is talking, blah, blah, bar. And so I've combined those two words. Anyway, the main things I wanted to talk about today for this particular picture were the techniques I've used. So this has been created using a combination of pencil, ballpoint pen and a putty eraser. And I've created this one on Bristol board. If you're unfamiliar with Bristol board, it's an incredibly smooth surface cartridge paper. So it's like cartridge paper, but almost mirror finish. It's really, really good to draw on. Highly recommend it um, if you haven't tried it before. So I began this drawing using the pencil and using some very loose lines to indicate the outlines of the sheep and the lamb and also just the rough direction in which the shadows were falling. Having done this, I then put the pencil down onto the surface of the paper with the pencil on its side and then blocked in some mid-tone areas, including the background, to contrast against the light areas of the sheep. And I did something similar for the lamb, but, but sort of less so here. Once I'd done that, I started to use the pencil in a more defined way, using directional lines to indicate the texture of both the wool on the lamb and on the sheep. And I also did the same for the cast shadows as they fall across the grass on the, in the field. Having done this, I then took the ballpoint pen. So I'm using a black pen here, but I often use blue. I feel that works well with the, with the pencil as well, the gray of the pencil. But as I say, here I've used black and I then used these selective marks to kind of pick out the little bits of texture on the wool of the sheep. And you can see that those marks also follow a curved line quite often. So they have a double purpose. They act as like a contour line describing the surface of the sheep's body, but they also describe the fluffiness of the wool. And I've used cross hatching in the darker areas to indicate the shadow. And I really enjoy the, the sort of subtle contrast that occurs between the ink and the pencil. Having done both of these stages, I then take the putty eraser and use that to indicate highlights on the animal. So when I'm working away, I'm not too careful about smudging the pencil. I quite like the effect that that has. But sometimes what happens is that the whole drawing can end up a little bit too grey. So squishing down the putty eraser into a point or an edge allows you to precisely remove those smudged pencil areas. And you're effectively using the eraser as a drawing tool and then you can pick out the white highlights on both the sheep and the lamb and also within the shadows on the grass. So as I said, this one was called Bar Bar Blah. Hope you enjoyed listening to my thoughts on this one. Please feel free to ask me any questions you might have. You can contact me through Facebook or on Twitter. My account name is Art by Mike Jory. Thanks again.